We're going to London. That's right, we're going to London for a little while. I just want to see if I think I would like living there or not. I want to move somewhere, I feel like I do. Like I really wanted to move to New York about two years ago. I was looking at internships and everything. Um, however, then we have this thing called a pandemic. So that kind of put a stone in the Heelys. Um, and then I was thinking of moving to London. So I'm just basically trying a few different things. So you're gonna come with me on my journey. Let me know in the comments if there's anywhere I should try out. Um, I just kind of want to explore a little bit and we can do that together, make some memories, make some dreams, people. Now today is the first day that I'm going. And within this first day, we're gonna be trying to get out of our comfort zone because I was invited by Brownie God to go down to their kitchen. It's not sponsored, just like, I asked if I wanted to go, but I was absolutely terrified. I've never done something like that. And it's just, things like that have scared me. And I always say no. I say no to so many opportunities because I'm scared. And I'm so done with being scared and letting my fear rule my life. So we're getting out of our comfort zone. We're going to Brownie God kitchen um, and we'll do some other things as well. arrived at my apart hotel it's called airbnb won't flip and let me book an airbnb because i'm under 25 they said but i'm like i know other other 20 under 25s have booked it so i don't know what they've got against me but whatever room tour time so we have this little like landing i guess you could say a little uh, bit to like hang your bits and bobs and whatever have you lovely so much space for a london hotel we've got this little bathroom Hi, welcome. Um, nice little tub, nice little products, love to see it. Uh, really cute. Who doesn't want a little succulent? I know. And then if we go through, doo -doo -doo, this is the room. I have already made an absolute mess because I have my first Grackle Dries episode going up tonight. I'm so scared. Um, and we've got a whole flipping kitchen. Look at that. Not only do we have is that an oven? A microwave oven thing? We've got a miniature dishwasher. How cute is that? And this, it's gonna blow your mind. There's a washing machine, which is great for people like me who are so messy. We've got some teas and coffee, coffee bags. We've got the lovely little bed set up, gorgeous. And then out here, we've got this. You. Lovely, and got a nice little breeze coming through. Hello. Clip I'm going to insert now is from when I went to Brownie God, which was really fun, and I was so scared, but I did it anyway, and I'm so glad I did it. I just think fear is not gonna hold on me anymore. Also, it's like irrational fear. It's like I don't need to be scared of something like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, so over to Grace, try and do something out of her comfort zone. You have another one ready for you. It's fast paced, you know, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You really just have to go for it. How does it feel being a part of Brownie God team? It feels actually more peaceful than I anticipated. <laughs> it's a pleasant atmosphere. <laughs> um, but it's still stressful because it's fast paced. It's like weird. Because <laughs> I'm stressed but also not stressed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, we are picking out Wow, well, I never vlog with people here. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, so we are picking out. I'm gonna make my own brownie slab. So I'm looking for some inspo right here. Look at them, they're so cute. And I'm gonna do Chloe and Tom because my brother-in-law said he really wants a brownie. So here we come. It's the little letter station. I don't know what color to do. You said you like I do like the, I do like the blue. I'm like blue's my fave color. I'm gonna do blue because you said not many people get blue. So yeah. shout out to all the blues that don't get picked. <laughs> I'm doing blue. You should say like what letters are here. I feel like how, how many times have you dropped this? Never. <laughs> it starts today. <laughs> She's like I feel like this is gonna drop. Oh, yeah. yeah wait, so let's see. Beautiful. I always worry I'm spelling my sister's name wrong. 
<laughs> C-H-L-O-E, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know yeah. when you look at it, like, that, that doesn't look right. Yeah, it looks, it looks right. spelled very wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have even got some marshmallow being crafted back here. Look at these big old beasts. We've turned the brownie upside down. You count five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the slab. Okay. You're gonna flip it upside down onto this. It's, too, it's like a little baby. Bam. So here we've got a bag of chocolates. It comes out so quick, I don't know if I'm gonna ruin this up. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Oh gosh. Oh sweet mother of hell. What the heck? How did that go so wrong? That is so bad. It's not. Look at all the it's gaps. Not. You can fill the gaps in. Okay, right, now what do we do next? Okay, now we stick the letters on. Where do you start? Just like in the middle? No, not in the middle. Oh, then. that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. Do you just maybe side up the edge? Okay. That's fine because now we can have to learn the chocolate together. Oh yeah, exactly. What happens with the E? Oh no! I put my finger in it. <laughs> border with the big sprinkles. You know what? When it's called the spring sun, you can't even tell. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think this is atrocious? <laughs> oh. You don't think this is really bad? That looks <laughs> lovely. <laughs> is this so bad? Why are you all laughing? It's very good. For a first attempt, yes. it's amazing. I'm not gonna pity. I'm not gonna pity. It's actually amazing for a first attempt. Yeah. And then just leave it. Yeah, we let it dry. Okay, yay! Beautiful. Thank you. Comment below if you did a better job. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna. The room. So we're actually going to do some little baby ones. Now normally, the little baby ones, you also, they come in different flavours. Like, the ones I tried over here. Boom, boom, boom. And then for these cute little cookies. I'm actually, can I sneak one? Yeah, go Please, thanks. Mm -hmm. And they're dipped in white chocolate. Although it's clean, it's white chocolate. Yeah, um. You're actually good. Oh! Marshmallow ones. How exciting. Look at these marshmallows. Homemade. What the heck? Turn the thing. See how they get. Yeah, and now. Oh my word. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, flip. It goes really quick. <laughs> Danger. Oh my gosh. Stop it. All right. Attempt oh number two. How far away? I want it to be perfect. Do you Start really... from far. Does the paper not burn? Well, you might. Oh. <laughs> a bit more. Just a nice little colouring. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when we do it, we do it in a safer way with some mm -hmm. metal. And I start from like far. Oh wow, yeah. That like, is far. You, you test it. No, it's perfect. Look at that. If I was to do this, turn into little marshmallow oh, fluff. Yeah. Like, I can then... <laughs> Do you yeah. like sushi? Yeah. And now I'm trying to think what we should do with the rest of our day. I've been around and I've gone, had some good food. But I'm thinking maybe we can go out for a nice little dinner together. But at the same time, I just want to chill. The plan is I need to find a restaurant. I don't know if I want to like go and sit in a restaurant or get food and eat in my room. I don't really know what the plan is. Don't lie, right? So I met up with my friends when I got here. Um, because. I haven't seen them in ages. Honestly, I keep getting such violent hiccups and hurts. What does that mean? Um, but I just had the, when I tell you it's the best guacamole I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I have never tasted guacamole more fantastic. I got it in Whole Foods and I got these tortilla chips and we just sat in the park and ate them. And life just felt, you know, like this moment, this is a core cool memory for me. I keep thinking about Padella though, because Padella was really nice, but that could be because when I went to Padella, there was this really cool girl that was sat down and she was just by herself, she had her headphones on, she was reading a book and she was eating pasta and I was like, when I'm older, I want to be like you. Right, let's check on my laptop. I replied to your comments of the first Crackle Tries episode and we can see why the day takes us very warm. I have just been sorting a few worky bits out, replying to comments and whatnot. I think it's time to go and get some dinner. I'm thinking of going to get sushi because I'm really in the mood for it. And I actually think I'm going to go and sit in the park um, and just watch the sunset. 
in the park and have some sushi. So I thought I'd do a little outfit of the day for anyone who cared. Um, this little blue shirt is really great because it like is really long. Um, and I think it's from Stradivarius. These leggings are from Girlfriend Collective. And then we've got the, the Converse 70s on. This is my favorite bag. It's so good because it fits so much stuff. It's so light. just got back from my little adventure to get sushi and then all my bits in the supermarket um, and it's a real shame sometimes things don't go to plan I just have to ride with it as much as I wanted to go and sit in the park and have sushi probably not the wisest safest idea because it is now very very dark maybe do it for breakfast instead but I thought I'd do a little haul of everything I got in the supermarket because obviously we all know I love a supermarché adventure obviously went and got some sushi and I also saw that they had these li little moons, um, but not the frozen ones. They're like the ones that you just eat from the fridge. A magazine to read in the bath because sometimes, you know, like when you go on holiday and I haven't been obviously abroad for ages, you know, like a beach holiday and you just get a magazine or even like when you're on a plane. And I just wanted that feeling of like reading a trashy magazine by the beach even though I'm just gonna be in a bath in London. This was on the like sales section. I've never ever seen it before. And it's this, and it's called Humble Bath Honey. I was on FaceTime to my mum and I was giving her a little tour. And um, we do that. Any of my family members that go on holiday, we expect video tours of wherever they're staying. Um, and I was giving her a tour and she established what feels off about the room because everything's so nice. She was like, it's the bright green doors. It's like reminds her of and one that we once, when we went on holiday to Brighton, there was an offer to stay in student accommodation instead of um, like a hotel, and it was so much cheaper. So we stayed in the student halls, and it really looks like that. So that's what's throwing us off. Also, I just really, oh, I've forgotten to get soy sauce. I love in London just wondering what everyone's up to. I'm such a nosy person. Like every person I see, I've created a scenario for. Like, why are you in Waitrose? What are you up to? Mm. I'm gonna enjoy my sushi, probably watch a little vlog, and see you later. Mm. Okay, I've had my sushi. Should we try this? I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it. I don't update yesterday. Can I still eat it? Because I don't know what it's normally supposed to be like. Actually quite nice. Tastes like a chocolate truffle. Maybe I shouldn't eat it. We seem to have a problem. There's no taps. I feel like this isn't designed to be a bath, I think because it's a half tub. The plug doesn't even go in. Heck. I'm desperate for a bath and I've taken the lid off the honey thing. I'm going to see if I can make that stay in place so I can fill the bath up with the shower head. I've done is I've used the glass jar, which is from out here. I've emptied all the coffee out and I've filled it with water so it weighs it down. And I think we might be able to win winner here. My plan is void because I think there must be a hole around around the little pot. So it's just finding a way to like get in. Which is such a shame because how inviting does that bark look? I am ready for bed, people. I've got my jammies on and I'm ready to rock and roll into a deep, deep sleep. Um, I am so excited for tomorrow. I'm really excited to venture around Camden. It's going to be in the next vlog, me exploring some fun food places. Um, and I will love you and leave you. If you want to know when I post, either Monday or Thursday at 5pm. Sometimes I post twice a week, sometimes I post once a week. But I also have a second channel called Extra Grack where I post really chill vlogs.